Testosterone is the main type of androgen in the human body. Prostate cancer requires testosterone in order to proliferate. We can suppress the progression of prostate cancer by blocking the production of androgen in the body. Androgen is produced in three steps. The hypothalamus releases LHRH to the pituitary gland. This signals the pituitary gland to release LH to the bloodstream. The LH then stimulates the testes, and to a lesser extent, the adrenal glands, to produce androgen, aka testosterone. Elagard is an LHRH agonist. Think agonists mock, antagonists block. Elagard works by mocking LHRH presence in the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus responds to LHRH in a pulsatile fashion. Elagard forms a solid ball once injected and releases a constant rate of LHRH stimulation, resulting in a negative feedback that shuts down LH production. This negative feedback inhibition does take about three weeks to take full effect, and there can be a short-lived but modest increase in LH production initially. If there is a suspicion of possible metastasis, we can instead start with an LHRH antagonist. This works to block LHRH from ever binding to the LH receptors in the pituitary gland. This drops testosterone levels more quickly and therefore prevents potential tumor flare from the initial rise seen with Eligard. This treatment is called one month Firmagon. Because this type of therapy is only available in one month doses, most of the time it is only used as an initial treatment and maintenance therapy is continued with Eligard. Eligard conveniently comes in one, three, four, and six month doses. To review, Eligard is an LHRH agonist and mocks the activity in the hypothalamus of LHRH. This shuts off the gonadal axis response via negative feedback inhibition. Firmagon is an LHRH antagonist which blocks LHRH receptors in the pituitary gland. This is only used one time when initiating therapy to prevent potential tumor flare caused by Eligard. It lasts one month. Eligard is a maintenance therapy lasting six months. ADT is usually effective for three to five years, but tumor cells may develop resistance over time. For more information, please see next video on AR therapy.